नमस्कार दिस इज डॉक्टर अजय भांबी वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यूइंग विद अवर न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट न्यू डिस्कवरी ऑफ द यूनिवर्स और वी कॉल इन हिंदी आकाश का स्थित भाव दिस इज अवर नेक्स्ट एपिसोड इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक प्रारब्ध और पासवर्थ डीड्स are divided into main three categories but uh, i think it's very very vast subject we cannot differentiate into two or three categories but what has been established so far by the vedic gurus we are going to talk about the prarabdh prarabdh karma is the portion of that karma which we are experiencing through this body and surroundings this karma the fruit of this karma has already started bearing bearing good or bad results in this birth it is considered unavoidable and one has to go through the process of birth miseries happiness death and this process continues you can also say that arrow has already been released so now you have to face the consequences where this arrow goes eventually in this case it has gone towards us another karma is known as sanchit karma sanchit means accumulated karma this is the accumulation of all all past births deeds which we are going to experience in this birth as my face cannot be changed i cannot change many things i cannot change my parents so these things more or less become permanent with me so i am identified with that that is what is known as sanchit karma they also say this sort of karma is already stored somewhere and which can manifest in future lives also you can say it's lying in a vast warehouse the different sort of seeds and uh, out of all those seeds one seed sprouts and this is the the outcome of that seed you and me that is called sanchit karma kriyaman karma refers to the present karma in this birth what we do some of the karma we do because of our own intelligence consciousness and some we do blindly this is the definition of all three prarabdh karmas i have a different view point on the same issue when we talk of past birth deeds the question arises whether these past birth deeds of mine of my parents of my belonging to my caste to create to my society to my state and my country let us not forget we were slave for more than uh, 1000 years from uh, even das slave dynasty they also ruled us then moguls then last british angles englishmen so if you are born in in that country which is controlled by other country and we all were slaves so then your present birth will have many more burdens than which has been discussed in the shastra because when you are born into a country 
which is already slave so you cannot be independent it will take very long for you to taste the freedom although you are free in your country but you are not free it's a very tricky situation and this has happened throughout the world once upon a time in america also there was a slavery and that slavery was abolished by the 16th president of america abraham lincoln and in last century till 60s when martin luther king was there and junior martin luther king both died or assassinated to get the freedom of from racism so if you are born into a society which is already condemned or not being appreciated and did not have equal rights then lot of things are taken away from you so is it your prarabdha or bad or it is a collective prarabdha collective destiny of the country if the collective destiny of the country is bad then how come your destiny will be good that is an issue which we don't address we address what i did in past karmas prarabdh and what are my sanchit karmas and what i can do now when this uh, concept was written and vision by rishis in the vedic times that time we all were free. they were freedom all around the world so only a free man can think of past deeds or accumulated deeds and then what one has to do now prarabdh sanchit and kriyaman whatever i got through this different channels that i cannot change and how astrology plays a role that is an issue because if the country is a, is under slavery then i cannot demand freedom there is not only my past karma the past karma of the entire nation is going through down the hill but that situation is not not here it's no longer in most of the countries of the world and when the shastra was written that time also there was total freedom i'm talking about vedic times that time it was a freedom that is why rishi would think of what about you my dear friend so now we are going to discuss how astrology helps <clears throat> so whatsoever we get in certain things you have no choice you don't have choice in your parents your your caste maybe your state maybe your language maybe your country but since we are born in india and this concept is prevail more over here than in any other countries so we shall confine ourselves to how astrology plays a role and how help, how astrology can help each and every individual from his or her past birth deeds we must have done something to be born into a down to the environment or somebody must have done good to born into a very you know beautiful environment that choice was not within any of us so now what can i do how this universe is helping me or not helping me because if this universe has given me an opportunity has given the opportunity to this soul to 
to experience life through this body and environment then i can say this uh, cosmos is very kind and he likes me he likes you and likes all of them otherwise we would have not been here we could have been a tree we could have been an animal but we are human beings so we are different we don't have jaws and claws we have brain nodes we can think we can envision we have consciousness so where this consciousness we derive from my understanding is we derive this consciousness from the two major luminaries which we hardly talk about we just talk you know your daily forecast or weekly forecast or monthly forecast yearly forecast so how we derive this knowledge when you talk of sun whatsoever is happening on this earth all because of sun all energy magnetic energy electric energy other form of energies whatever now how our body is functioning how much sun we need you all know i don't have to explain and uh, we all say sun is, is combined the energy of three gods brahma vishnu mahesh the sun is not alone sun is having the experience knowledge and goodness of all three gods brahma vishnu mahesh so sun becomes very special for us and this had been invented by rishis right from the time immemorial they had known that is why there are lot of techniques which had been developed understanding the energy and power of the sun it's not only in india even in ancient time even in rome egypt other countries they all prayed to sun because sun was a real source of life but in our vedic concept of astrology we understand and treat sun as a atman soul so sun represents our atman or soul and moon represents mind you most of us must be knowing it so every day sun is new and sun is new every day every tithi every season every month and it is giving new life new energy to one and all and moon is there moon has its own pattern of the 15 days becoming brighter and 15 days becoming waning but it has its own pattern and sun and moon both connect with each other most of the time they connect beautifully sometimes they don't assuming in your chart in your horoscope good yogas are there good dasha is there good connectivity is there and sun and moon is in the sky is also very positive and connecting with you so that day could be great for you you may get married you may have sun in your house sun may birth of a sun or you may buy a house you may do something very special on the other day there could be disaster so that's a part of life this happens so what we can do that's the point because when we talk of kriya man kriya means my present i am present here i have a choice talk to you not talk to you and who will pursue me who will insist me to talk to you or discuss with, with you and the same way you have to develop forget your horoscope there may be wrong there may be right because everything cannot be right all the time assuming my horoscope is bad dasha is bad yog is bad some debilitated planet is going on but i am not debilitated i am not frozen i am conscious i am aware so sun is helping me 
moon is helping me when moon is helping me mercury is already controlled it means my intellect make sure that i don't deviate from my goal so i have to be organized i have to be disciplined i have to be systematic there should be order to what i do what i don't do what i eat what i don't eat the i should be regular with my exercise so if i do all those things then i don't see there is any reason that my past bad deeds or wrong deeds can hamper my progress today and those people who have come up in life with all these odds they were conscious about themselves so that consciousness is required people say when you read your uh, forecast daily forecast of this you know chappar phat jayega something big will happen you know money will start coming where well, we don't we have chappar how can this chappar will phat jayega we are living in houses so how can this nonsense can happen to us so i stop believing all that you can change nobody else can change and those who have changed they believed in themselves so sun tells you your soul is pure there is nothing wrong with you so that's what you, krishna says in gita your atman is pure there is nothing wrong with your atman and it's a question of your buddhi your mind and if you can control your mind you can organize your mind then your intellect will support your thought process when both are connected i think you can do wonders if you are here you are not here to suffer you are here to change change you are here to change the paradigm shift and those who have done it just watch they have done it so we all go through prarabdh we all go through that and you know yeah one more thing before i finish if you are a yogi then astrology does not act on you when you are in yoga i'm talking of yogi you're not that those do yoga in the morning i'm not discussing those i'm talking of pure yogi those who are yogi they know techniques where planets stars don't have any impact on them and if you are a bhakta devotion devotional person then also as well it doesn't work you know you might have seen somebody and i know i believe in rama i believe in buddha i believe in you know nanak baba i believe in this so that he will take care of me and good or bad whatsoever happened with them that pass on despite this they never bothered to see the horoscope and you and me see horoscope believe in horoscope there are bad things but you can make the difference so remember this so when i talk of akash ka istit bhav new discovery of the zodiac then this zodiac has brought us here with the purpose so don't forget your purpose your purpose cannot be small and if you trust yourself then sun and moon and your mind and soul are going to help you later on we'll discuss how to handle saturn how to take advantage from rahu how to you know control the influence of negative ketu and other planets so this will keep on discussing because we are coming out with a new concept this concept is you have to believe in yourself because whatsoever you have done today in your life that you have done and that was your belief to come up to this point why can't you go up to this point that's it thank you very much astrology ki sateek jankari ke liye vishwavikhyat astrologer ajay bhambi ke youtube channel abc channel ko subscribe like or share kare latest update ke liye bell ke button par zarur click kare